Mark my words, what you're about to witness in my next video is going to blow your freaking mind. For real. This will be, without a doubt, the best video I have ever made. You're about to witness a YouTuber, uh, an amateur researcher, <laughs> a guy who studied business and has an undergrad in communication, sociology, and a minor in religious studies, prove and show to you with clear evidence, proof, pictures that you could see with your own eyes, <laughs> that there is something far more mysterious about our ancient past than from anybody you've ever heard in the academic world or in documentaries. You are going to see clear evidence and proof that there was indeed a long lost ancient global civilization that once spanned virtually our entire planet. For real. This evidence has made my own jaw drop. Now, this video was gonna supposed to have been done last Friday or early this week, but thanks to partnering with another YouTuber, I came across some great new evidence on Sunday evening. So I'm like, okay, let me continue to build this as it changed the narrative of the video for the better. But then last night, I came across something by chance that made the video that much better. But then this morning, <laughs> I came across something so good Something that, so for real, when I say this is gonna make your jaw drop, I realized while looking at it that my mouth was open. I was mouth breathing while looking at this because I could not believe, well, first of all, how much better it made this video and how much more convincing of an argument it made for what I'm suggesting here. But the fact that I've been researching the topic of lost ancient civilizations for about four, no, more than four years now, closer to five years, and I've never seen or heard of this before, like what? So many of the things that I've come across while building this video, I couldn't believe I had never seen or heard of before. Now, some of these things, maybe some of you would have seen before, and I'm, when I say some of you, I'm talking about people who have been following this topic or my channel for a few years, but so many other things that are included this, in this video are things that it's very unlikely that you've seen, and you'll find yourself asking why. Now, other people that aren't as nerds for this awesome topic of ancient civilizations, oh my, their minds are about to be blown. For real. Uh, so yeah, I have never been more excited about a video in my whole life because it's going to bring up all kinds of questions involving what we thought we knew about our ancient past. Regardless of how old you think or how advanced you think we were, because there's a lot of debate for that among ancient history enthusiasts. There's all kinds of bickering back and forth about that. But this will show that without a doubt, what we were taught and is still being taught in school is so full of holes and so full of mystery because you're going to ask yourselves, whoa, 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 why haven't I seen or heard of this before? It's that incredible. Now, I can't take all the credit. In fact, so many things, I'm not, guys, I'm an amateur researcher. I'm just connecting dots and I'm presenting things in what I consider or hope to be an engaging, fun way a way that gets people talking and in a way that keeps people's attention spans going, which is no easy task nowadays, right? So I have other people to thank. There are other people that have talked about these subjects, some of which that I'm going to be sharing, but they haven't necessarily connected the dots on everything else. And that's where things start to get really interesting because the implications of what I'm about to share are game-changing. It's it proves that our textbooks have to be rewritten. And by the way, there's already enough evidence to suggest that. Other professional researchers that have been studying these topics for decades have already done an incredible job of doing that. But there's still this massive resistance among the academic community. The people that write the textbooks, the people who decide what's taught in school, they resist the topic of an ancient connection among past civilizations as completely <laughs> preposterous. They, they profusely say that no, there is no ancient connection. Nope. The Egyptians were the Egyptians. The, the cultures of uh, Central and South America were there, and, but <laughs> there's no connection at all. But what you're going to see in this video is a connection across the world in countries that you never realized that these ancient megalithic sites ever existed. And the similarities are clear as day for all that have eyes to see as, like I said, now, Great news, channel update here. 
So I've cleared plenty of things off my plate in my own life now to where I can actually focus on YouTubing full time, all in. And I've been trying to make that happen for a while now. So the intention going forward is to make at least one video every three weeks. I mean, I would like to do two videos a month and that's kind of a goal, but that can be hard to pull off because I want each video I make to be really good. And to do that, the amount it takes time to research and then it takes time to come up with the creativity of presenting it in an engaging way. And then digging up photos and connecting everything and writing up the script and everything else for the video, it all takes time. So every two weeks might not be doable, but if I could do once every three weeks, then that means some months, yeah, I would overlap to where I had two come out in a month. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, like mark my words, this will be my, my best video yet because it's going, because the last several videos I've made have all been building upon that, yeah, there's a lot more to the story of our ancient past and it's a fascinating mystery. And with all the new technology that we have, you know, in 2020, we can start digging into more answers because, you know, a lot of people don't realize that most of the stuff we were taught in school was based on speculation with little to no proof. Many things, just things that were stated or written about 160 plus years ago are much of the same things that are taught in school today, despite overwhelming scientific evidence that contradicts it. So yeah, this is something that regardless of what your personal beliefs are involving our ancient past, one thing we're all gonna be able to agree on is that, whoa, there's way more to the story. Even people that stick to their textbooks like a religion, because to be honest, many people in the academic and scientific world, it is kind of their belief system. It's just the same part of the brain as people that are super religious, they all have something in common, which is that when you disagree with something that they've been teaching or thought they knew their whole lives and you say otherwise, just like if you said to someone super religious or whatever, you know, they get upset. And this is something that we've seen in the scientific community going back hundreds of years. I mean, oh my God, look how they treated Galileo and Copernicus. <laughs> look how they treated the, the Wright brothers before the flight. Like a lot of people that showed up to watch that were there to watch them die. They were calling them losers and stuff or whatever words they were calling them because they knew it was impossible. You know, so the same type of mentality exists today. Humans haven't changed. The ancient philosophers from thousands of years ago wrote about the human condition in such an epically accurate way that it just shows that nothing has changed. And the same thing exists in the academic world and scientific world. And, and this isn't like to diss, it's not, it's not to say they're wrong about everything. It's just to simply to say that when new information comes to light, it's really hard to accept. But what I'm about to show you is gonna make it, <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see what people have to say, the naysayers that is. So uh, now I have to say that, hey guys, yeah, this video, I really hope to have it done Friday afternoon, but it's gonna be tight because new this, all this new information I found in the last few days, it's like, I just have to rearrange things. And the hardest part about this video is that even though the pictures speak for themselves, I have to present it in a way that's engaging, which means that the, the order I put the information in, the cadence in which I deliver it, all has to be done just right in order to make this video as successful as possible. Plus, I'm still struggling with the title and thumbnail. Might have the title down, but it's hard to figure out a creative thumbnail that portrays what I'm trying to share without it looking too clickbaity-ish because on the surface, if I say, oh yes, there was a long lost ancient global civilization that once ruled virtually the entire planet, people just say, like, okay, no, would have heard about that if that was true, next, right? Even though what I'm about to show you is gonna prove it, so I have to be very creative on this. Um, so yeah, I communicated on social media that I intended to have this video done by last Friday or early this week at the latest. And now today's Wednesday and the soonest I could get this done is Friday afternoon, but that's tight. And I don't like to upload on weekends because normally the algorithms favor videos that are uploaded during the week. This is something I've seen in my own experience as well as this is something that I've read about in depth while just trying to build my channel figure out how the algorithms work. So, no, I'm not uploading Saturday or Sunday, even though, yeah, of course, there are videos that are uploaded on weekends that get millions and millions of views. I'd rather do Monday instead of Saturday or Sunday. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's planned for Monday at the latest, and this will be my best video yet, guys. I've never been more excited. It will definitely get conversations going, and let me also thank, by the way, because I've missed deadlines before and and trust me when i say that nobody feels worse 
or more upset about that than me. It sucks feeling that way, but my intentions have been good. Sometimes it's just, it's hard. You create a goal for yourself and when you do all this alone and you keep finding more information, it just keeps pushing things back. And so I don't wanna just put something else, something out and half-ass it. Cause I have, I have videos from a couple years ago that have millions of views that I had no idea were gonna get millions of views. And I wish I could go back in time and like change things or double check things or make better arguments. But I, at that time I was just trying to get better at making videos, talking in front of the camera, making, you know, provocative thumbnails and titles that, you know, to market it, to get people to click, right? Um, but so that being said that sometimes you can't rush creativity. So my bad for having missed deadlines in the past, but this will, this will be worth it. This, <laughs> this is absolutely going to be worth the wait. Um, so let me say thank you to ev all of my loyal supporters. Thank you all for everything. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, past and present. I mean, there's plenty of people who are Patreon supporters in the past and, and aren't any longer, but hey, thank you. You have, without a doubt, made an impact in my life and my ability to get to where I am now. I'm so unbelievably grateful. As well as to all the people that have signed up to be members of the Bright Insight channel. It's the community thing. You can see it below the video where it says join. Um, I never asked for it. I never brought it up. I launched it and and then a bunch of people came back to my videos and signed up and I am so, I'm so grateful. So all this being said, I'll close this up, up or close this video up and get back to work. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are in for something good here. And I just wanna say thanks to everybody. And that's, that's shoot from Monday, Friday afternoon at the, at the earliest, but Monday, that's just say Monday. Anyways, guys, I'm Jimmy, this is Bright Insight. Thanks for watching and uh, look forward to that video and cheers and love to everybody. Thanks for waiting. Take care.